Hi, Bev again with another video. And this is, um, you know, I was thinking, you know, with COVID, it's kind of coming to a closure, we hope. But anyway, people are starting to travel more. Restrictions are being uh, let down a little bit. And, uh, you know, people are eating in restaurants again. So I was thinking, you know, how do you cope with trying to lose weight or fat and being, you know, eating out in restaurants, right? And frankly, um, when you're on a vacation, it's worse because you're out in a restaurant most of the time, right? At least we are, especially if we're on motorcycle trips. Um, but you never really know what you're eating unless you're eating at home. For example, once we were on a motorcycle trip somewhere in the southern states and, uh, you know, where they have a choice of uh, like a buffet for breakfast. So I thought, well, I'm going to get something healthy. So I picked up scrambled eggs. So I was, you know, proud of myself. I was eating scrambled eggs. And then the next table, I heard this woman say uh, to the person who was coming out with the bacon and whatever, are those real scrambled eggs? And I was thinking, what? What does that mean? Well, I found out, no, they weren't real scrambled eggs. You know, they come in a bag and they add water to them and... Anyway, I looked up what's in them and I was shocked. So to this day, I have never, ever had scrambled eggs in a hotel since. And uh, Chinese food is another one. I mean, you think, you know, you look at the veggies, you know, oh, yeah, this is good, bamboo shoots and whatever. But my husband is type 1 diabetic and we finally realized we cannot eat Chinese food because his blood sugar just shoots right up. I mean, it's just full of sugar. And you don't know that, right, when you're eating it. Um, but restaurant food, as I say, can look the same as home cooked food, but it can be really heavily laced with fat, with sugar, and with um, salt. Why? Well, frankly, it tastes better, right? And when I talk about fat, I'm talking about duck fat. I mean, you can go into high end restaurants, this is what they used. And I, um, I learned this from An Anthony Bourdain's book. Um, Kitchen Confidential, I think it was called. Anyway, duck fat, tallow, which is beef fat, uh, lard, which is pig fat, chicken fat, bacon grease, they use it all. And sure, the taste, the taste is much better, right? But back to us, we mortals. If you eat in a fast food burger restaurant, for example, you know, you're on a trip like us in a motorcycle, um, and, and it says, oh, we have 100% beef, beef patties. Look out, because the beef may be 100%, but it's coupled with a whole pile of other stuff in that burger. Additives, you know, fillers, preservatives, whatever. Um, they want to keep their costs down, right? Same thing with chicken nuggets. It's got a lot more than chicken in it. Um, and then you think, well, you know, I'll go to a high-end burger restaurants, and there are such things. And once I ate one, and it, it was 100% beef, but I was sick for the next day. Why? And <clears throat> our niece worked in that particular restaurant, so I said, what's wrong with the burgers? Why did I get sick? So, oh, no, well, they take the beef, 100% beef, lean beef, and then they mix it all up with butter, and then they fry it in butter. Well, I'm not used to eating that much fat in a meal, so that was why I was sick. But anyway, um, if you go to a fast food restaurant on a trip, then just order a salad. You know, make sure you're not eating tortilla chips with it or seasoned croutons or a creamy dressing. Um, get chicken with it. A salad is good for you. It's filling, okay? Now, some rules. When you go into a restaurant, especially for dinner, These are just some simple rules that will help you not gain as much weight on a long trip. So avoid arriving when you're starving, right? Don't eat sauces and may mayonnaise. Um, don't eat any fried foods, which they like to call crispy now, right? Sounds a little better. Uh, don't get a set menu because then you're eating a lot of food, right? You're eating the appetizer, the main, the dessert, the whole thing. And gigantic portions are deadly, right? Um, sugary appetizers, avoid those. Caesar salad is one of the most fatty salads that you can eat. Um, a lot of fat, uh, they often have as much as 450 calories. Okay, so don't eat those. Um, cream soups uh, and cheese sticks, avoid that kind of thing. Now, what can you do to help your choices? Okay. Here again is a very simple list that will help you. 
eat slowly. Your leptin, I'm full hormone, takes 10 to 15 minutes to appear. So just eat a bit slowly. You can even put your fork down between each bite. Claim to be lactose intolerant. They're not going to give you any butter and a whole bunch of cheese and stuff in your meal, right? Uh, order grilled, poached, or braised. And that gets away from this fried side. Um, now, drink lemon water before your meal. And you may think, oh, well, water's the same thing. No, lemon is uh, alkaline forming, okay? Often, if you're going to be eating out, you're going to be... Uh, maybe getting some omega-6, you're going to have uh, a bit more inflammation, you're going to be more acidic, and this will balance it off a bit. Um, have fruit, fresh fruit to, for dessert. If you're going to order a, one of those whoop de doo desserts that are so good, share it with your partner. And if your partner is trying to wolf it down and eat more than half, that's fine. Just have two or three bites, right? You just want the taste. And really, what are you eating out for? It's for the company right? You don't have to rush when you're eating. Um, substitute a baked potato or a baked sweet potato instead of fries on the fried side here. Um, but get, get the potato naked. I mean, if you're going to get sour cream and bacon bits and all this on it and cheese, you know, well, you may as well be eating the fried stuff because it's just as much fat. Okay, so just some simple rules because we all eat out in a restaurant. So I'll see you in the next video and uh, bye for now.